Hey there, so your kid is interested in communication studies and you're freaking out a little bit. Well, you should be freaking out because the world is always changing. So the big question for you is, how do you get your kid ready for what's next when nobody knows what's next? Well, I'm here to tell you, calm down. So we found that great communicators tend to be great people and that great people tend to get great jobs and make the jobs they have great. And in our department, communication isn't just talking to people. It's managing mutual responding. It's not a thing, it's a process that's helpful everywhere. So in the next few minutes, you're gonna hear from several graduates with very different jobs, but you're gonna hear some common themes and experiences. And so listen for those common themes about what they found helpful during their time here with us at UNCW. My name is Alexis Delia. My current job is as an investment advisor at Tilia Fiduciary Partners. My name is Nilu Mola Ahmad. My job currently is an entrepreneur. I started my own media and marketing business. Kind of whatever my client wants, I'm just there to help them promote their business, promote their product, and really get out to consumers. Uh, my name is Shane Fernando. I'm CEO of Thalian Hall Center for the Performing Arts, and I oversee all of our operations uh, here at the hall. The comm skills that helped me land my first real job out of college, interpersonal communication, um, being able to read people, listen effectively. And uh, also the critical listening skills are also extremely important too in terms of taking time to listen. I was on the Senate Foreign Relations Committee and so so much of what I learned in terms of uh, being able to adapt my communication styles. Just being able to communicate with people and really understanding their needs. I'm a great communicator. I can listen to their needs and I can put that out there in a way that represents their business positively. As Nilu said, entrepreneurship is big for many of our comm graduates. In fact, I'm standing outside Social Coffee that was started by comm grad Rachel and her husband Giovanni. They now have two locations. Let's head inside and talk a little bit more. The thing that impresses me most about communication studies graduates and entrepreneurship is the variety. We have real estate agents such as Tom Gale. We have franchise owners such as Damon Lilly with Active Pest Control. And we have Globe Insurance with Van Davenport. And the list goes on and on and on and on and on. And they're all comm graduates. So what can your student do when they're actually in our program? Well, there's applied learning spaces like this TV studio and the control room, and the edit suite, and the computer lab, and the digital maker space. We also have courses and internships where they'll get extensive hands-on experience both on campus and in the larger community. And many of our students and groups have actually won national awards for their creative projects. Some students take advantage of these opportunities because they know exactly what they want to do from day one. Others take a little longer to figure it out, but either way, they learn how to get things done. A lot of the classes that I took in comm regarding IMC and graphic design have been really helpful for me. We use all the Adobe suite in all our comm classes, so I'm finding that to be really helpful in the outside world. One thing that I worked on very heavily, the development, fundraising, design, and construction of the clock tower at UNCW, and I was president of um, a class then. So the leadership skills that it taught me in terms of uh, rallying uh, a community around a, a central theme, central project. Pretty impressive stuff. A student body president bringing a community together to bring an iconic landmark to campus. And he's not the only one that has helped make UNCW great. We've got over 40 communication studies graduates working at UNCW. Admissions, student affairs, executive leadership, on the faculty, and more. What I think would be most helpful right now is to have these talented graduates speak directly to you to help everybody calm down. I would tell nervous parents that calm allows you, it's kind of the major that allows you to like pick your own path. If you are a calm major, you have so much flexibility to explore and learn, and I think that's the point of college. You're always gonna need to communicate with people. You're always going to need to navigate relationships, whether it's work, personal, whatever it may be. I just think that it helps you grow a lot as a person, professionally and personally. I think communication studies is always the right major, frankly. The opportunities and doors it opens is endless. Uh, wherever you are in life, socially, professionally, if you cannot communicate effectively, you're dead in the water. And so this uh, major is 
gives you a, you leave with a very powerful toolkit uh, to take into the future. The world is changing. There are job markets that haven't even been invented yet. But the one constant is, and always will be, communication. So, if your kid does their job, we'll do our job, and they'll get a job. So calm down.